What's up everybody? First 117 here, Matt Puchisaru, and today we are going to go over the AEW All Out card and give our predictions. Let me know now. The Lucha Brothers fighting? They are. Good. That's the only match I already care about. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to get started off with a... Oh. Hello, Jackson. Hello, other Jackson. They're both named Jackson. Well, that's their last name. Oh, they're both gay. But Nick and Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks, decided to make an appearance. What a shock for AEW. Anyway, we have... A female Japanese ladies match to start off the show. Ooh, we have Hikaru Shida and Riho Abe. Riho Abe is probably uh, my favorite one out of all of them because she's like the one who dresses up like she's from Aladdin. Ooh. And then she does all the crazy high flying stuff, which doesn't really surprise me. I'm going to pick her in this match. I'm going to pick her too. I like high flying people. So we'll go with that one. Next up, singles match. Cody Rhodes versus Sean Spears. And Sean Spears will have former Four Horsemen and original Four Horsemen member Tully Blanchard in his corner. I want to go for... What the fuck was his name? Uh, Sean Spears. Sean Spears. I want to go for him, but I know uh, AEW and I know wrestling, so unfortunately Cody Rhodes. I am going to say Sean Spears. I think Tully will interfere and allow Sean to win. Mm, disqualification. I see it happening now. Moving on, three-way match, Darby Allen versus Jimmy Havoc versus Joey Janela, the Garden State's own. Jimmy Havoc, that's the, the golf guy, right? Uh, Jimmy Havoc is one of those golf guys, yeah. All right, cool. I'm going with him. Yeah. All right, then. So you pick him. I am going to go with Darby Allen. Next up, winner gets a bye in the AEW Tag Team Title Tournament, and it is the best friends. Chucky e. T and Trent Beretta versus The Dark Order, Evil Uno and Stu Grayson, formerly the Super Smash Bros. Boo! Oh. That was Andre off camera. Who chose not to be in this video. I got gas! Uh -huh. Nice to know, Andre. Never stopped him before. Anyway. Um, it's a toughie, honestly. I, I kind of want to go with the Smash Bros. I hear what you're saying, but I'm going to go best friends. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm going to go Smash Bros. Yeah. All, All right, right, then. With their gimps that they come out with. They hey. call them minions, but let's be honest, they're gimps. They're gimps. Yeah, they're totally <laughs> our gimps. They're anyway, totally moving gimps. on. The AAA World Tag Team Championships, of course. AAA being the top Mexican promotion. It's a ladder match, and it Ooh. is the Lucha Bros defending their AAA Tag Team Championships against... These guys, the Young Bucks. Oh! I'm smoking over here! <laughs> Being the elite. Anyway, I think you already know who I'm going for. The Lucha Bros. Oh, I thought you were going to say the Young Bucks. Oh, man, bro. Why would I go for these guys? Fuck this guy. What? You don't love the Young Bucks? No. You don't love I, the I'm not, I'm not saying I don't like the Young Bucks. I'm just saying I want I want to see more of the Lucha Bros. They deserve the title belt. They can definitely put they can put AEW on the map if they if AEW uses them correctly. Alright then. For me, I am going to go with the Lucha Bros, believe it or not. I think they actually win the rivalry and retain their triple A tag team titles. Good, good shit. And then, I'd have slap you if you said otherwise. singles match, we have Kenny Omega, originally was supposed to be John Moxley, but due to an injury in his elbow, he is not going to be participating in tonight's and the Saturday's festivities. And he will be facing off with Pac, better known as Neville, if you are a WWE fan. And uh, he kind of had a history. He almost said F you to AEW. Then eventually he chose to join up with AEW. I guess they meant the fences. But anyway. He looks like an elf. Who do you, yeah, he does look like an elf. You are right, Bridget. Off with, camera, Bridget. Yes, off camera. Bridget, Andre's wife. Who do you think wins? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, it's a little bit of a toughie. But I think I'm going to go with, uh, with Paige. You mean... Yeah. Omega? Yeah. Omega. That guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Adult beverages here. I am going to also say Kenny Omega. I don't think Pac wins this match at all. No. Next up, 
the main event, the AEW World Championship, the first ever one to be crowned. Will it be Adam Hangman Page? Or will it be Chris Jericho? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to go with Chris Jericho. I feel as though AEW is going to push Chris Jericho, you know, for for a little bit just so they can have, like, a solid standing and so they can have a familiar face for the face of, uh, of AEW. Gotcha. So with that being said, I will definitely say yes. I think it would make perfect sense. Jericho is the most known wrestler out of the entire roster. Yeah, Cody has a small name for himself. Kenny does too, but nothing near the size of Jericho. So really, at the end of the day, Chris Jericho is your first ever AEW champion in history. And it would have had to have beat Adam Hangman Page in the same night to do it. Just like when he won and became the first ever undisputed champion in history. Jericho's going to have that on his resume. First ever undisputed champion, first ever AEW champion. And that's our predictions for the AEW All Out card. Should be interesting. And since it is in Chicago, what do you think? No. Shot that we'll see Punk? Mm. I don't know, I'm a little torn with that because I don't want Punk on AEW. I mean, I don't really think Punk should be anywhere near wrestling anyway. But that's just me. Very true. But Punk on AEW makes me not want to watch it. So I'm going to say no. I will go with no, but I think we're going to have a lot of heavy chance of CM Punk throughout the entire evening's festivities. I'm going to say almost every single person in the crowd, at least three or four or five times per evening, are going to chant and yell CM Punk, desperately hoping that that douchebag will show up, basically. Anyway, thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for joining us for the first 117, Matt Pucci. And we will be taking a look at All Out. Hopefully it will live up to expectations, and hopefully it'll be another awesome show that AEW puts under their belt. As they have one last show, this being the one, before they hit TV on TNT in October. So it is a big situation for them. Very big situation. So with that being said, thank you all for joining us. If you want to follow us, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can just search the first 117 and you'll find us right there. And if you're on YouTube right now, feel free to hit subscribe. And when you do hit subscribe, hit, hit the little the fucking bell. Yes, hit the little bell icon. Why? Because then you get notified right when we upload. No matter what time of day it is, and no matter where you are, you will get notified. We just uploaded a video. And he just is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, with that being said, we thank you all for joining us. We hope you all have a fun time. Great day. Safe week. Fun weekend. Maybe even too much fun, possibly, on that weekend. Anyway, guys, peace, everyone. Have a good day.